back to people looking for work, work-life balance, because I know that's a word that keeps getting shown and yeah. presented, and yeah. it's a very annoying word for me. We're sitting downstairs, we're having cigars in the, in the Whirlpool, and I asked you, PBD, how do you run two companies as a full-time CEO for both? And I think you had a very interesting answer. I think a lot of viewers of Seven Figure Squad you know, would like to hear, because a lot of people are thinking, well, if I'm gonna start a business on a part-time basis, I got a full-time job, and I got a part-time yeah. business. I mean, where do I, when do I stop working? Yeah, so it's, I work two full-time schedules is what I do. And, and, and the best way to figure that part out is it, always ask people that work with somebody. Like for me to learn about how you are, is I gotta talk to your coordinator, your, your, I gotta talk to your assistant, I gotta talk to your yeah. family, I gotta talk to your kids, I gotta talk to your wife, to really learn at what pace you go, right? Okay. To really learn what pace you know, I go. You gotta go see what the office looks like, you gotta see the scheduling, you gotta see Monday through Saturday, through Sunday, you gotta see that scheduling. I run two companies, it's not because, pe- I don't recommend people doing that. Yeah. It's gotta be an obsession thing, for me it's an obsession thing, I sure. love both of them, they're both kind of intertwined yet at the same time separated. Um, you, 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 you have to be extremely disciplined on both to run them. I don't recommend people doing it too early. My suggestion is to drag out your 100% obsession into one thing for as long as possible because nothing's gonna do better than 100% into one thing. And then gradually go from 90, 10, to 80, 20, to 70, 30, but up until the very end, put all your energy and everything you got into one thing, okay. Andrew Carnegie once said the following thing. He said, put all your eggs in one basket. Just make sure nobody can touch it and they don't fall. So his idea wasn't never put all your eggs in one basket. Right. His idea was put it all in the same basket sure. and go all in in this one thing, right? Yep. That's more my philosophy than it is about, you know, the other way of running them. So people, the reality is, even if you're going from a full-time career job yeah. to starting a part-time business, there requires a lot of heavy lifting in the beginning, because I can't imagine at the beginning of PHP and either, or VT, that was a lot of early success on, and what, what kept you going? What, what was like, okay, we're onto something, we're onto something, we can pursue this. Yeah, you, you know, like when you walk into a room and nobody yet, yet respects you, <laughs> or nobody validates you, you just kind of, no one's even talking to you in the room, right? Yeah. But deep down inside you're like, what, what, how come nobody, none of you guys talk to me? Do you realize how hard I'm gonna work to get the respect, like I'm gonna bust, I belong in this room. If you really fully have that mindset of I belong in this room, it's a very frustrating phase you're gonna go through is because you have to earn the right yeah. to, for mm-hmm. others to say you belong in this room. Until you do that, nobody cares yeah. that you're a great speaker, you've read all these books, nobody cares. The only thing that room cares about is results. If you haven't had the results, nobody cares. So the four things, remember, I was a guy that said I'm gonna outwork everybody. And I'm gonna outwork every one of my competitors. It ain't enough. Then I said, I'm gonna out-improve everybody. Reading all the books, it ain't enough. Then I said, I'm gonna out-strategize because I would go against a couple of the competitors that had better strategies than me. I said, I'm gonna out-strategize. This comes later. This takes a while to come. So when you're newer, you don't yet have all the strategies, right? Like when Kobe was on Jordan and he's guarding Jordan, he says, hey, Jordan, what do you do with the footwork with this? He says, just use the hips and feel defense based on the hips. And Kobe's like, wow, I never thought about that before. That's a strategy. That you're not gonna get that in the first year of playing basketball, that comes. And then obviously last but not least is who can last the longest. <laughs> and that is the most annoying, intimidating thing about competition because we're not really gonna know who the players are for two decades. Who the hell has patience for two decades? Yeah. Very few people. So Absolutely. yeah, you eventually, if, you get, if you're willing to outwork out, improve out strategies, outlast, eventually you're gonna get the credit you deserve. Go.